guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe and thank you so much for coming and watching this crazy tutorial. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you how to get this wacky hairdo. It It is a very natural curled hairstyle. It's using like, you know, the old mousse. I used to use this stuff all the time. So I'm gonna kind of do a little throwback for my own sake and um, show you guys how I achieve this look. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you'd like to and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, here we go. So I have never done a hair tutorial like this before. I used to do my hair like this all the time. I'm gonna try it out and see how this goes with short hair. I used to love it when like my hair was like at a shorter bob. We'll see. I'm gonna do the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I use this all the time. I use like one and a half pumps in my hair. Kinda just put it all in this tangly mess, especially at the ends. I'm gonna take my wet brush. I use this wet brush all the time. Any wet brush will do, honestly. But brushing your hair with a wet brush is awesome because you don't lose a lot of hair because there's no tangling. It literally like, every time you brush through it, there's no tangling, so there's like no hair on there, which is awesome. So I have a couple of products that I used to use all the time. These are really old and I don't even know if like they still carry them, but I kind of just had like an inkling to do my hair with mousse. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Everstyle. This is their volumizing boosting mousse. And this is the Tresemme Curl Care Flawless Curls Extra Hold. I remember using this all the time. Um, so I'm going to try this one. Uh, this might be too much. We'll see. I really want to concentrate it down at the roots because you want that lift. And then just kind of move it all around. I don't even know if my hair will curl. We shall see. Like I said, I haven't done a tutorial like this in a long time. No, I've never done a tutorial like this. I haven't done a hair like this in a long time. So we'll see. I'm gonna add some more mousse at the ends just cause it feels a bit dry. I used to use like this stuff too, which is the extra firm all day hold from Tresemme. Um, I remember my hair like kind of being a little stubborn um, at the ends. This is the JRL Platinum 3300. Are you kidding me? Oh wow, I didn't expect that to happen. So let's just recap. My hair was a lot softer when it was brown and it was a lot more curly, that's for sure. So my hair has definitely been processed and my curls aren't as defined. Maybe there's not a lot of weight either in my hair because it's so light. But this is the most body I've ever had in my hair in a long time. Okay, so. Obviously this kind of stuff used to happen to me too when I had longer hair, where like things weren't curly curly. Probably didn't use the best products, but also I had to kind of like tweak some stuff too. So this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> Great, cool, let's fix that. So this thing you can pick up at like Walmart or Target or anywhere. This thing is so old. I'm not gonna be crazy precise. I'm gonna definitely leave the ends out because I want it to look more like I have curly hair than if I don't. So I'm not gonna curl every piece. This thing was like my favorite thing when I first cut my hair off because I would wear my hair like this all the time. Didn't like spending a ton of time like straightening and curling my hair. So I would just do this and be done within like five minutes. Um, and I lived in Nashville back in that time and so it was like super humid. You wanted to take like three showers a day, you know what I mean, in the summertime. 
I have a lot more straight hair nowadays. I definitely need a new half inch curling iron. That is not a lie. This thing is probably 10 years old. No, it is 10 years old. You know when Taylor Swift came out with her um, first song? I don't even know what it was. Teardrops on my guitar. She had that like really curly, curly, curly hair. I wanted that. So I bought this curling iron so I could do that. And I curled my hair and it looked nothing like her. Nothing. I've had it ever since. So it's probably been over 10 years. I don't even know when that song came out. I would not suggest buying this curling iron because they probably don't even make it anymore. It is extinct. No, they probably still might have something similar. I would suggest getting something more updated. Something that doesn't sound like it's gonna fall apart and probably end up like that video. You know, when that girl's like curling her hair and then her hair just like falls out? That's gonna happen to me. You watch. So with these curls, I'm literally like curling back and forth, and I didn't think I'd have to curl every piece of hair, but it's looking like I have to curl more <laughs> than none. On these sections too, you wanna take like random small sections. Those ends look terrible. What am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, this looks awful. This tutorial is probably gonna be like super crap. We shall see, we shall see friends. This is called the sassafras. Um, like I said, you can also probably do this like gel stuff. Make it look more crunchy. Just a tiny bit and then kind of crunch it up in there. That should help with the dry ends. I'll probably take some of this uh, super skinny serum too and put, put that in there. If you guys don't have you, some uh, alligator clips, you should get them. They're amazing. They're amazing. You can put as like, much hair in them as you want without them, without like your hair falling out. Not falling out, but falling out of the clip. I'm trying to keep these curls far away, but close to the root. Oh, this looks like a nasty rat's nest. But I kind of needed that messy look in order for it to look natural. <laughs> so like if I were to blow dry my hair regular, it would have been a lot more straight. I'm gonna put some of this oil in there. I should probably wait to the end, but the way that it's looking is like making me want it now. I have really curly hairs right here, can you tell? Those are, those are real curly. I'm gonna come back to this top piece because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet and I'm gonna start on this section. Just going back and forth, doing the same little thing, doing these kinky little curls. I probably should have done a couple sections on this side. Oh, that looks too curled. Maybe that'll straighten them out a little bit. I mean, I, I would do a wand curl. That's like probably something that would look a lot better, but I don't wanna spend my time doing that. Wand curls take forever. Even when I had long hair, I hated wand curling my hair because it just took forever. And then you like sit there and you're like, ding, 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 ding. Well, the back looks like a hot mess. That, that's not a lie. So, been contemplating like what to do with my hair. I mean, I know I've had it like a lot of different short ways this past year, which I've loved everything so far. It's been really fun, but I'm like looking back. I like when my hair was like a little longer and a little blonder and I'm in love with it. I don't like the tapered back. I thought that I would again. It's too much maintenance. <laughs> Just being honest, it looks beautiful. It really does, and I think it hugs the neck very well, but it's just way too much maintenance for me, and I have way too much hair, so I feel like I don't want something 
like that, but I can't go shorter on the back. I mean, technically I can't. I don't want to go shorter because I have a huge birthmark on the back of my neck that um, I found out about when I got like a really, really short undercut and my hair was like actually really short on top. It was like shorter than my undercut. And it popped out and I was like, mm -mm, ain't about this life. So that probably won't work out me having like a really short pixie. But there are some times when my hair is at a certain length and you know everybody's like, Oh, um, can I talk to your manager haircut? Yeah, it looks kind of like that. I get that a lot. <laughs> can I talk to your manager? Well, hey, at least I'm your manager, right? I'll be a manager, I don't care. People are so dumb. Okay, let's go in here and see what's flat. Everything, let us think is flat. I look like a Medusa. I'm gonna crunch it up some more, guys. If at a loss, crunch. Honestly, my favorite hairspray, I've used high end, I've used low end. I really like a medium hold, even though this says it's a max hold. It's drugstore, so let's, it's the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. It smells really good too. Hairspray does a lot with curly hair, let me just tell you. I remember when I used to do it, it would like look crazy and then I'd add hairspray and I'm like, okay, I can deal. I don't know if I can deal today. <laughs> this just feels totally out of my element. But it's something new and sassy. <laughs> Let's just say, the, hair, the hairstyle looks a lot better from the side than it does the front, okay? I like the back. Sassy. I like the back. Because it's sassy. All right. That is the finished crazy haired look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this crazy tutorial and hanging out with me today. Really appreciate it. Um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.